We can confirm that an incident occurred uh, involving police around midnight Friday, early morning on Saturday. Um, we have confirmation that individuals attached to our team are involved in the investigation and they're cooperating. Uh, and we take this matter, of course, very, very seriously. Uh, however, until we know the results of the investigation, we're not really in a position to comment much further than that. We're in contact with the authorities. Uh, we're working with them closely, uh, as well with the Canadian Embassy, and we'll provide an update when it's appropriate to do so. We have an athlete's agreement that all athletes uh, do sign before they agree to come to the Olympic Games, and it does speak to appropriate codes of conduct and the values of the Canadian Olympic Committee and, and the expectation that we have of not just our athletes, but our coaches and, and all of us that are here representing Canada adhere to. So, yeah, that's standard practice. What are what, what consequences does an athlete that breaches that contract face? Each situation is different, and so, you know, to speculate on circumstances and what outcomes would be isn't appropriate, but uh, again, we have processes in place to make sure that all parties are respected. And, and there's a range, I imagine, of options to you in terms of punishment. That Are they spelled out? Again, um, no. Uh, there there's, are, there's not like a list. There's not of, like a long list and if you do this, then yeah. this is what happens. Yeah. No. Um, but again, we have a good process in place. It's respectful of all the parties and then we take steps according to what the circumstances dictate. On their off time, is their transportation already provided for athletes? Can they call a number and they'll have a van for them? Or I can't speak to the specifics of the circumstance and what may have led to the, the the situation. Um, we have uh, a, a transport plan for every games. Um, we, we work hard at all of that to be ready for uh, for everything in the context of our participation here. So all those things are true, but again, I'm not familiar with the circumstances enough to tell you what happened in this case.